Welcome along to this coverage of Farnham Town versus Collier's Wood. It's a celebratory atmosphere at the Memorial Ground today. Farnham Town will lift the trophy after this contest and Collier's Wood respectfully provide a guard of honour for the combined county's Premier South champions who line up today as follows. It's Pat Nash in goal. In defence, Joe Jackson, Jack Dean, Ryan Kinane and Brandon Kalou. Harry Cooksey and Mark Waters are in midfield and Dean Rawl and Kai Tanner are in behind the two strikers, Owen Dean and Shamal Edwards. On the bench, Charlie Postance, Lewis Flatman, Adam Niddle, Max Meaton and Lamar Caroma. Nowhere really to go. And now Cooksey. Owen Dean and now Tanner. Wrong decision Try to turn. Jackson wins it back. Now it's Dean Rule with Brandon Kalou to his left. He's putting together a run of starts now, Brandon Kalou. Edwards. That's good. Waters in the penalty area. And it's an own goal. In the third minute, Farnham break the deadlock. Mark Waters getting to that byline. And Collier's Wood have a mountain to climb already. Yeah, that is not what you want to see if you're a Collier's Wood fan fighting in that relegation scrap. An easy goal, really. It was a lovely little interchange between Shamal Edwards and Mark Waters. You rarely see Waters get into the penalty area, especially this early on in the game, and he's punished them. Here comes Gune. To Nozka. Gambra. Kaitana. Got in Sobraniam's way. Now Nozka. A decent strike from him and Pat Nash had to be alert there. Nozka, who was probably Collier's Wood's best player in the reverse fixture. Rule and Cooks the exchanging passes and now Edwards. Owen Dean. Looks for Edwards. That was a decent chance right in front of goal, Shamal Edwards. It's got underneath it a bit too much. Didn't do a bad job of it either. Nozka. That's Kalu's touch will... They've got loads of players forward, Collinswood. That's and a great pass. he's in the clear now. It was a choir looking to just prod that through the legs of Pat Nash. Didn't work out for him, but they had numbers there. <laughs> Shamal Edwards there, backing in. It's good to his man and now Dean Rule looking to get onto his left foot he might shoot with his right and the goalkeeper had to scramble across to save I think he was just missing a target but don't mind to see some shots Farnham have to reset oh, that's Terry given Cooksley. away by Cooksley and Akwai might get a shot off here and does hits the bar Harry Cooksey with the error and a cry, not for the first time today, came very close to levelling the scores. In pole position to stay up. Bottom look good in these areas, just need to get the ball forward faster and when they have, they look great. Dean Rule with a positive run, Edwards Back to rule, and he went for placement there, but got no power on it whatsoever, and it made it quite easy there for Toby McKim. Another great example of Farnham when they go through the gears, look different quality. Tanner releases Owen Dean. Opportunity for him. Well saved. Rule though somehow stays out. Edwards can't apply the finish either. I cannot believe what I've just watched. Three great saves, both from defenders and goalkeeper. Collier's word throwing their body on the line to save themselves potentially from relegation. Got to admire it. That was fantastic, fantastic last ditch defending. Yeah, Owen Dean, Dean Rule and Smile Edwards all had a chance with the goal gaping. Aaron Moody not allowing him any time. Kalu for Owen. Dean. Owen. Sat up nicely for him. Might do so for Little as well. Couldn't hit the target. Fatigue catching up with him, maybe. But it's been decision making. This been his Achilles heel this afternoon. Owen oh, Dean got there fairly. And now it's Flatman who looks up and finds Little. No flag, but he's forced out wide, Adam Little. 
You heard the groans of the clock end. Kalu stands it up towards Owen Dean at the back post. It might come for Flatman and fall and double their lead. Lewis Flatman, who scored two on Thursday, comes off the bench and doubles Farnham's lead today. And the flares go up in the clock end. Farnham Town look like it's going to be a party this afternoon with the trophy lift. It was a lovely goal in the end. Cross to deep. Owen Dean back across goal and Lewis Flatman who's in fine form makes it two. I think Brandon Kalu got the pre-assist there. I think he only got his first the other day and now he's got another. So getting involved with the goals there. Let's see. Flatman. Farnham in again. Dean Rule has time and pick this spot just a yard wide from Dean Rule, but this is much better from Farnham. Farnham working it across from side to side now. Waters. Kalu crosses. Possets will go up. Punched away as far as Flatman and headed wide for a corner, crucially by Iwany. Oh no, it's not Epsom. It's Shield uh, Cobham 2-2. Oh, God, right. it's all action down the bottom. Is. That was a brilliant bit of defending, by the way. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Possum's his flick, Little might be on the end of this one, and he loops it over the goalkeeper! Just onto the roof of the net from Little, we've seen him score that type of goal before. That's a good knock. It is, and Noska is in behind, flag stays down, and Noska, the touch was heavy, and it allowed Nash to come out and smother it. Ostens will challenge and win the header. Flatman. Now Little. Max Meaton is now the man bombing on from right back. Instead, Flatman is in though. And Flatman saw his name in lights. He's very capable. And that wasn't a great goal kick either, but that is the full-time whistle and a big cheer from the clock end. Business as usual for Farnham Town, who move on to 99 points. And they're about to get their hands on the Combined Counties Premier South title. Full-time Farnham 2, Collierswood 0.